Um, quite a lot. Um, like three times a week. Uh, about once every week. Um, maybe twice a month. Um, a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. Every week. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, no. Yeah, I guess. No. Because it's very exciting and it like it, it's not boring. There's it changes like every five minutes or something and it's, it just keeps the action up and it's really cool. Um they're just like interesting to watch. Yeah. Mm, I like a bit of excitement. Because <laughs> they're not my favourite kind of genre. Um, because they're interesting and you get like into them. <laughs> they don't really interest me that much. Because they're different and fun. Yeah, I think that's what draws you in the most because on adventure films you always have to have like something action packed but like really curious going on to set up the whole plot and that's the only thing that can actually draw you in. You can't just try and um, get people's attention halfway through. Yeah. Why? Because it's usually like packed with, it's like intense. Yeah, I think it kind of sets the rest of the film really. Um, yes, but it depends on on the film. They're normally like really catchy and make you sit on the edge of your seat expecting for something to happen. Yes. Why? Because like if the opening is not very good, then you don't really want to watch it. Yes. Why? Because they make you want to watch the rest of it and see what happens. Yeah. Why? Because if it's good, then the rest of the film would be good. Well, that's what I think. I have to say the Goonies at the opening there, like because the police chase is introducing the villains, and then you like it goes through the town and introduces all the main characters, and it's like, it's really cool to watch because they're all like we're just seeing the same thing but different in different um, places and stuff, and you get to see their characters. Uh, no, I don't think I have one. Nemo, um, the Maze Runner. Why? Um, because it creates like a lot of suspense and you're not sure what's going to go on at the beginning, so like, keeps you on your seat like, to see what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, I can't think of one. <laughs> Horror adventure, like, you have to have scary, but adventures never get old. Like Indiana Jones, you can always watch that. Probably thriller. I like comedies. Um, romantic comedies. Action, maybe. I think comedy. And probably action or horror. Yeah, like it, it, it always has to start with a good film opening because that's making the first like five minutes makes you decide whether you want to keep watching or whether you want to turn off. Like if it's just like trying to build up gradually, you don't want to watch it, so it has to be proper nice. Um, if they're good, then like like intense and they kind of like give you an idea of what the film's going to be, then yeah. Yeah, but because if a film opening isn't interesting, then you just kind of get bored after that. So, yeah. Um, I think it depends on the film opening. Some can be really boring and like confusing at the start. So, um, yeah, they do. Cause like if the beginning bit's like really dull, you're not gonna want to watch the rest of it like an hour. Yeah, because they make you want to see what happens at the end. I think they are interesting. Cause if the opening's interesting, then the rest of the movie, in my opinion, would be interesting. Yes, ish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sorry, sorry for a um, you have to like, at the start they always have to be a bit of a prick. And then like at the end you see the emotional journey and it's all really big and, and they're the hero and stuff. And it is a cliche but it's one you can actually watch and not cringe. Um, I don't know, it's kind of be kind of different I guess to other adventure films. Um, I'd expect a bit of cringiness and cliché because, you know, it's about teen life if it's a teen film, so that'd be quite interesting. Like, normal events that would happen in teenagers' 
life, um, typical, yeah, just typical events? Um, um, but I don't know. Adventure, like lots of things happening. Um, a bunch of adventurous friends who want to go out and have fun. Well, there's always the cool one, the cool, calm one, you know, the leader one. Then there's always the, um, the, the jock, basically, the cocky one. There's the smart one who saves everyone at the end of the day. And there's the fat one who brings the comical side to it. I don't know, probably just like a mix of different characters to make it more interesting. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um. Um, fearless characters that are like willing to take risks and yeah. They're like the main group. Yeah. Um, bad people and the group of main characters. Yeah. I don't expect to be introduced to a funny character, a really stupid character and a really, um, it's like a safe one. Responsible. Uh, yeah, a uh, responsible one and a rebellious one. Um, they actually keep lifting it and their different personalities bring the adventure side to it and um, make you keep watching because you like the characters, therefore you'll like the plot and like the film. Quite a lot, like, I don't know if you'd have like comedy in it or I don't know, but yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think that the mood of the character and like the way they are influences the film because it kind of like helps to set the scene. Um, that like, hmm. If the young would be more immature and if they would be more mature. The impact on the mood of the film because if they're all boring and if they just all sit there doing nothing it's not very interesting. So if they're if you have a few outgoing ones, it makes them more interesting, and you get to you get a little sneak peek into their lives and who they really are.